Shit. Just pick something. Something gangster that you like. Gangster. Just whatever you like, my nigga. What goes with Philly? What's your middle name initial? R. Damn, you got two letters that ain't gonna go with Philly. No shit. Wait, um, R. What's your last name? Snoop's letter? RK. Philly RK. Arcade. Philly Arcade. Philly Arcade? That sounds. Philly Arcade. That sounds. That's a dope. There we go, my nigga. Yeah. Is that not creative? Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, Philly, Philly Arcade. Arcade. It's Cully Q minutes through the game in Philly Arcade, goddammit. Man, I got a question for you. Man, shoot. What is up with white chicks? What about them? What, what Why do niggas like white chicks? Yeah, I'm always trying to figure that out. Well, shit, I don't know about other niggas, but me? That's all I've ever fucking been with yeah, white bitches, bro. I mean, white women. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Just haven't found my Holly Berry or Beyonce. That's all. You need to ask the white chicks what's up with niggas. Why y'all like niggas so much? Well, we all know that. Well, nah, man. Shit, not every nigga is packing. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Well, no, but <laughs> bitches tell me like some like my ex. She's tell me shit. Not, no, you know what? It wasn't my ex. It was some girls talking to. She's tell me that uh, you know, shit. Everybody different. Not not everybody. You know, just because they race say they they got it like that downstairs. I mean, they do. Shit. I know bitches love what I got downstairs, so shit. It I mean, is it's it just is. like not every freaking white guy smiles. <laughs> Bro, this is white dude at my job. His name is uh, Evan. He's like 22. 23. He's got a black girlfriend. He thinks this bitch is Beyonce, bro. First of all, she's not attractive, fam. She's not. She's a bigger girl, which ain't nothing wrong with big girls. I like big girls, too. They know how to... <laughs> definitely, my nigga. They definitely know how to do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Because, you know, they act like your shit a piece of chicken, and they just hungry. So they eat, my nigga. They eat. Anyways, um, he thinks this bitch is a bomb, bro, and she's not. Because, like, honestly, I'm a polar opposite. Like, he says he only fucks with black chicks. Yeah, he doesn't I was, like white bitches. I was, I've always been like relationships with white chicks and married white chicks, but like the best sex I ever had was with a black chick. Oh, you had a black chick before? Mm -hmm. All right, so just so y'all know, my nigga Philly Arcade, he's a, he's a white boy. My nigga, he, he, he's a white boy, but he ain't your average white boy. You feel me? This nigga got swag. He's got style. This my nigga. You feel me? Anyways, and me, yours truly, quality minutes of the game, is a true G. Philly, how would you explain a nigga like me, boy, to the, to, to the people, man? Just in so many words, like I did you, but explain. What, what's the quality of human sort of the game? You got a big ass heart, man. Man, you think? Like, you do things, if you can, like, kind of get people's of what's going on with them, and if right. there's something that is, like. I can read people. Quite frankly, man, I'd be dead if he didn't fucking call me. And after what my freaking ex did to you, man, that was bullshit. <coughs> and you didn't have to do that. Right. But, you, you know, that's, that's who you are. You got a heart. You're a nice guy. I feel like my heart is too big, though, man. And, oh, hell yeah. But I can't change who I am. You know, I, gotta, I like to help motherfuckers. But I just want to see them help themselves and help each other. But a lot of them don't like to help each other. Like, like, you know, we know this girl, me and me and Philly Arcade. We know this bitch. She uh, straight fiend, straight fiend. You know, I, shit. I thought we could help the bitch, man. At first, I ain't gonna lie to you. I probably wanted to tap that. I think Philly Phil wanted to tap that at one time too. But uh, as we started to hang out with the bitch, it was just not good. We did not. We, we just changed our mind on that shit. Where did it get? I probably. Would. I'm good. I probably would have tapped it if we had a bit of some alcohol, but um, right. she just wasn't my type. You know what? She just seemed kind of, she was kind of built a little bigger to me, like yeah. a taller girl. Yeah. And that, that kind of turned me off. I don't want a bitch just like hand win me. Fuck out of here. But really, honestly, that's my biggest problem I've always had. I'm like too picky on what type of girl I want. Yeah. She got to have an ass for me. She ain't got to ass this over with. Oh, yeah, shit, ass me. is the number one thing. I've always said that. I don't give a shit about tits. Yeah, they're nice. Right. I mean, she got to have something up there, but yeah. she ain't got to have fucking, motherfucking, uh, 
you know, no big double D's and all that other shit. She ain't gotta have all that. Like I always just say, you don't fuck the tit, so what the hell? Shit. You ever heard titty fucking? Yeah, I've These done niggas it be fucking tits. I've done it before. I seen white boys do that shit to. I try, you know, I think I tried that shit to my angst, and that shit just didn't, wasn't working. You gotta have the right set of dunk and doinks. You know what I'm saying? Right. If a female ain't yeah. got the right set of dunk and doinks, you ain't get, you ain't, you ain't feeling nothing. The that girl, shit over with. The girl I was with before Bobby had, like, I swear to God, she damn near D's, but. I didn't, and she was actually, you know, pretty cute when I started dating. She was decent. So. But the problem yeah. is something I can't stand is when a girl don't take care of herself. Right, right, like, Just right. because you're with somebody, you let yourself go. You mean like being a slut? Or no, not, not being a slut. Oh, you mean let herself go, like get fat and not taking care of her you're hair and her body her and shit like that? You know, looks good. And Putting on makeup and all that maybe shit. That room, maybe that was one of the reasons why my wife turned into a hoe. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, bro, a lot of it, you know what it was, bro? It's the drugs. Period, my nigga. Yeah. It's not us, it's the drugs, my nigga. If they got an addiction, it ain't even about drugs. It could be alcohol, it could be cigarettes. If they got an addiction that means more to them than you, it's doomed from the start, my nigga. If you meet a girl in the middle of a drug deal, y'all go to the same nigga or something like that, you know what I'm saying? And you start fucking her and you guys are dating or whatever, living together. That shit is doomed, my nigga. Unless she get clean, she gonna cheat on your motherfucking ass. She gonna find a dealer and get that bag. Doing whatever the fuck he asked her to do, looking stupid. Once a girl is tainted, I don't want that bitch. That shit over with. You know, I was just thinking. Like. You know, I used to think like. I, I don't know, I ain't talking about bullshit right now. No, nah, shit, man. Speak your mind, bro. Speak nah, your motherfucking mind. Right, maybe, right. maybe it's a little bit embarrassing, but it's fine. Bro, it is. We live one time. Fuck what niggas think, man. Shoot. I'm putting it. Hey, I don't give a fuck. Life is life. Everybody done been through something they, you know, don't, don't think was awesome. You well, feel me? Like, but it is what it is, my it's nigga. It's like I just put that, you know, sometimes I think to myself, you know, maybe if I would have used my head... Things would be different. Heart, after we, she had her little side relationship and the seven year itch. Um, you would have made a better decision. I mean, she did, she did everything for me too. You know what I'm saying? That's she didn't good. have to move up north and ditch her family. That's why I let her go to her So there's a lot of good parts to the girl too. Yeah. Like a lot of good things that she did See, that attracted you too. me feeling bad for her, I think. Because I saw how terrible her mom and her mom's Treated relationship. Her. Yeah. Was, yeah. Maybe I pushed her back into it. Mm, I think, like I said before, uh, drugs, bro. Yeah, the I'm, drugs have the ninety-eight percent part. Period, my nigga. No, you've been you've been really telling me this lately. Like I just don't seem like it's that important to me. Right. Like you don't I let think anything bother you, wife. bro. Like. You feel, you know, you don't let anything really bother you. And that's impressive, bro. I, that's your power, bro. That's what you got. Niggas can't do that, bro. I yeah. can't do that. Yeah. If something's bothering me, bro, that shit gonna show me. Like, God, I can't be quiet about that. Like, that's what, like, people... That's your power, bro. We figured it out, my niggas. Like, no. But, like, we figured it out. It's, it, but it's weird, though. Bobby and I both felt so bad that we weren't having that damn relationship after that. I think is what drove us into drugs because we wanted it to make make it but that the fact that she betrayed me yeah. she felt so terrible that she wanted to you know it don't even matter what the reason is what matters is she did it but the fucked up thing is is our our relationship is always built on sex you know start walking back Get a shit video. Like, literally. Get a new one. Yeah, our relationship is always based off sex. Bro, that's how it felt like with me and Ariel, bro. We had great sex. That's we why I got so many rhythm. videos. That's why I got so many videos of me and her. I mean, did that. I should delete them. I bitches. mean, seriously, people don't realize why we had four kids. Right. Like, fuck. Bro, I, I used to bust my I know each all one the time. Of them damn kids are mine because I know exactly when I nutted in the fucking bitch. And the due dates lined up exactly. Right. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. That's why I'm get mad about people asking if the baby's not mine. Don't don't let that shit get to you, boy. You know the baby's yours. Fuck them niggas. 
And the only reason I, you know what I'm saying, I ever, you know, talked about it with you is because of what you, something you, you know, yeah. talked about it with me. So, I, you know, I was responding to what you asked. That's all. You, I, I, I ain't mean nothing about it if I did that. No, man, I just get to thinking about what the fuck happened, man. You know? Bro, it just wasn't meant to be. Bro, that shit. There's something better out there, my nigga. Like, you know, God bless you. God lived you another, another day. But you got another chance to meet the girl that is right for a poor, poor nigga. You know what I'm saying? If she ain't right for you, you can't mess with her.